Hey there! Welcome to a Dawn of the Monsters character breakdown. Today, we will be taking a closer look at the newest member of the roster, Meteor Temujin, the Combining Atom. Meteor Temujin utilizes an arsenal of weapons, allowing her to fluidly change her playstyle and adapt to incoming Nephilim threats. These weapons are the sword, fast and versatile, but the weakest hitting weapon, the axe, the most well rounded weapon in terms of strength and speed, and lastly, the hammer, slowest of the weapons, but packs the biggest punch in the whole arsenal. Meteor Temujin's weapon swapping feature and associated mechanics make her one of the most advanced Dawn of the Monsters characters. There's a lot to dig into, so let's get into it. Temujin has three light attacks, three heavy attacks, and a dash attack. These attacks change speed, damage, and knockback depending on which weapon is currently equipped. She also has three heavy hold attacks, one for each weapon. Heavy hold one with the hammer launches enemies sky high and hits off the ground, making it an excellent combo starter. Heavy hold two with the axe is a multi-juggling attack that deals excellent damage. And heavy hold three with the sword is a launching stab that sends opponents flying across the screen, damaging other enemies and ending in a wall bounce. These attacks can only be performed when the associated weapon is currently out. Like the other characters in Dawn of the Monsters, Meteor Temujin's rage attacks are her signature moves that, when used well, can turn the tide of any battle. However, unlike the other characters, her rage attacks have an additional effect. They change Meteor Temujin's currently equipped weapon. Let's break them down. Meteor Temujin's first rage attack is Flare Pierce a very fast and far-reaching dash attack that marks damaged enemies with a flare bomb. Marked enemies explode after a short delay, taking further burn damage. Using this attack switches Temujin's weapon to the sword. Her second rage attack is Swooping Axe. Meteor Temujin throws out a double-edged blade of energy that acts like a boomerang, hitting enemies on the way out and on the way in. It also tracks Meteor Temujin's position, allowing you to reposition yourself mid-attack to catch as many enemies as possible. Using this attack switches Temujin's weapon to the axe. Meteor Temujin's last rage attack is Meteor Crash, a devastating two-hit attack. The first hit knocks enemies up and away to set up for the second hit, a powerful slam down that creates an erosion explosion, marking affected enemies with the erode debuff. Using this attack switches Meteor Temujin's weapon to the hammer. If that's not enough, there's one more thing going on with Temujin that really drives home the weapon swapping mechanic and makes her one of the most potent characters to date. Every time Meteor Temujin switches to a different weapon, she gains a stacking buff, which increases her damage and rage generation. This buff stacks up to 5 times, but will fall off immediately if the currently equipped weapon's rage attack is used. For example, if you have the sword out and you use Swooping Axe or Meteor Crash, you will gain a stack. However, if you were to use Flare Pierce instead, you would gain no stack and lose any stacks currently accumulated. Meteor Temujin's Cataclysm, Ultimate Dragon Storm, is a bit different than her counterparts. She raises her weapon up to summon her Dragon Blade, crackling with pure and deadly energy. Once empowered, her attacks will not only deal extra damage, but will also fire off a wave of damaging energy, dealing additional damage and knocking opponents around. When piloted with skillful hands, this Cataclysm is devastating and allows for a ridiculous amount of skill and combo expression. Thanks for tuning in to Meteor Temujin's Breakdown, and be sure to check out Dawn of the Monsters in the upcoming DLC, Arcade Edition, on PlayStation, Xbox, Nintendo, and PC.